So, hello everybody. My name is Sofia Arboleda, and today I'm going to present you the story of each dog. Only two miserable dogs got to my farm, Canela and Dorio. They are one story left behind, although thousands of others are still in their own terrifying story. I would like to start this TED Talk by you approximating on how many dogs were in Bogota streets 2018. Now that you have that number in your head compared to this. 98,653 dogs. 98,653 dogs in Bogota streets 2018. 98,653 stories that still haven't changed. But most important is that all of them are out in the streets. Sad, hungry, lonely, or even without disease. What's most frustrating about this number is it's that it's happening here. It is happening now. Here in our country. Here in our home city. But mostly here in our street. I would like to share with you a little bit of my personal story. Starting June 2017, my parents started constructing a farmhouse in Uate. As always, we went every weekend to check how everything was going on. But this time, something was different. I clearly remember how my brother and me were with our heads out of the window. We were in our car heading towards the garage when suddenly two spots, cinnamon colored in black, were on the floor. This was a moment that my life will change forever. Going back to the numbers, 19 out of every 50 dogs in Bogota have no owner. It's what the Pan American Health Organization said. What most shocked me after seeing these numbers is that it's only happening in a really small fraction of the world. But how this is a problem worldwide is impressive. I quickly got down from the car, but my brother Thomas did it even quicker. He raised his hand on top of the black dog. I took some steps towards the cinnamon colored dog, although she was extremely scared and sensitive. As soon as I started walking towards her, she quickly got away running. I knew something was wrong with her, so I gave her her own space. I headed towards the black dog and rubbed my hand against his head. I felt a really special connection since then. I knew that these dogs weren't any other dog, but that they will be special for me and that they will be loyal and friendly for the rest of their lives. The names. That afternoon, my brother and me were talking about the names for these dogs. We, were, we came up with a lot of ideas, but for the black dog, it was pretty easy. I mean, he was totally black and had only one white stripe on his neck. So, if you're thinking the same thing that I was at that moment, his name was Oryu. But for the girl, it was not that easy. We came up with a lot of names, but actually none of them pleased us. A few hours passed until we came up with the idea of Canela, which means cinnamon in Spanish. How this is a huge problem worldwide it's incredible. And how these will be an urgency if we don't take action right now, it's even more shocking. You might be wondering, but with this huge problem, isn't the government doing nothing about it? Well, actually since late 2016, the district has worked along with the Pan American Health Organization. They have made over 230 sterilization sessions, which has prevented the birth of 61,034 dogs. After seeing these numbers, what most impact me is how making a slight difference in one dog can make a huge difference in these numbers and in future generations. On another research made by the Affinity Foundation said that the main two reasons why people abandon their dogs are 15% because of unexpected pregnancies and another 15% because of their behavior. The other 70% are little reasons added up. But what I'm trying to say to you is that we have the key in our hands. It's just that we're not doing anything about it. This is the point where my personal story comes along with these numbers. Another weekend, we went to our farm again. And this time, something was different. 
It was, it, this time, it wasn't only that the dogs were there, but that Canela had a big belly. I knew she was pregnant, and now my dream from Little has come, had come true, because since Little, I have dreamed about having little puppies. And this was a huge excitement for me. The, the months passed, and each time Canela had a bigger and bigger belly. But when in July 2018, my farm was finally ready. That weekend, we came to stay the whole week. That day, Oreo was there, but Canela not. I, well, the whole family suspected that she was giving birth to the little puppies. That whole week, my four cousins and me searched for it, but we couldn't find nothing about that. Not even a clue about these little puppies. My hopes were really, really low. When finally, we received a call from the housekeeper. He told us that he had found nine little puppies. Yes, you heard right. Nine little puppies. The most cute thing I have ever seen in my life. Nine fur balls when they were sleeping. Or nine cheerful spirits when they were playing and jumping. They had a huge diversity between them. Some had black hair, others brown. Some had patterns in their, in their hair. Some even had blue eyes. But what all of them had in common was their tails going from one side to another as they played and jumped through the whole place. The cheerful spirit what was really special for me. Of these nine puppies, we gave five to nearby farms. Sadly, three died, although we stayed with one, Lulu. Lulu has been a huge support for me. She's my motivation for doing this speech and keep on fighting for these problems. This cheerful spirit that she has, it was chosen to me what real happiness is. And how sometimes we humans are so selfish about us that we don't actually think that we're animals too and we're helping one of our own species. How three miserable dogs change my perspective about certain topics on life is simply incredible. When before I saw six or three miserable dogs walking through the streets, sad, hungry, with their ribs marked, now I see a nine. Or three stories that still haven't changed. Three stories that could be changed by any of us. But if we have the key in our hands, why aren't we doing nothing about this? It's my huge wonder. Sterilization sessions is hopefully the key for solving one of these problems, and adoption is the other. That's why I want to make an invitation to you. Like Canela and Dorio, they are one in 1,000, and it depends on us to change their stories. We can do two things right now or sit right here with our arms crossed and do not do anything about this topic, or stand up, think of a plan, and actually put it into action. Because remember, we're also animals, and this is one of our species. That's why I want to make an invitation for you. I want to invite every single one of you, watching this TED Talk through YouTube, or seeing this TED Talk in this theater. I want to invite every single one of you to change a dog's stories. I want to invite every single one of you to actually make a change in these numbers. I want to invite every single one of you to help with the sterilization sessions and adopting. It could be a huge change in one dog's life. But most important, I want to invite every single one of you to help to make this world a better place for dogs. Thank you.